Hannibal Gammon. He was a Puritan minister of the gospel and an active member of the Westminster Assembly. In my estimation, and from reading as much of Reformed theology and literature and source documents from the Puritans that I have, I'm going to say that Gammon is one of the most powerful Puritan preachers that you will ever come into contact with, especially those that we've reprinted for today's church. I think Gammon is among the best preachers of the Word of God, practically applied, that you will ever read. In this volume are collected his only surviving three works. It's all we have. But in their varied subject matter, I think they draw the Christian closer to the Lord Jesus Christ because he's the best in all three of these topics. The work is called God's Just Desertion of the Unjust and Other Works. He covers three practical topics for the Christian. His first sermon is God's Just Desertion of the Unjust. It's from Revelation 20 to 11. And it shows that it's a comfort to the godly to be mercifully confirmed in holiness by God. And that it is a terror to the wicked to be justly suffered to go on in his wickedness. A very powerful sermon. His second sermon is The Praise of a Godly Woman from Proverbs 31. You may have heard sermons like that, maybe from the pulpit in the church that you're at, or maybe you've read things online, but you've never heard a sermon on this topic like this one from Gammon. He shows that praise is a debt that must be paid to those who have the true fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the truest nobility, the noblest grace that can be ennobled and extol a man or a woman. And such people should be praised for it by men and, he says, by God. His third sermon is God's Smiting to Amendment or to Revengement. Very Puritan-esque title. It's from Isaiah 1.5 where he shows what reasons God uses for professing believers when he strikes them justly for their sin. That's a heavy topic. It's a serious call to true repentance. And those who do not repent spit in the face of God, so to speak. And they revel in self-love. With this, God will be severe. God is great in mercies when he strikes us to this end, that we should sin no more, Gammon says. So either God strikes to correct us as a loving father and chastises us in that way, or he strikes to revengement, to revenge himself for his holy demeanor and character in which we sin against. That brings serious consequences in our life and great afflictions by God's judgment. These are amazing messages. They're unlike anything you will read or hear in today's Christian culture. This rare work is available right now at Puritan Publications. Go to www.puritanpublications.com for more information on this title in both print and ebook form. In each of these three sermons, I think Gammon's exposition is by far, in my estimation, the best treatment on all three of these subjects. These are works to read and to pray through, looking to God that he would be merciful to further transform the Christian into the image of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you as you read and study the scriptures along with this powerful Puritan preacher, Hannibal Gammon.